Hello everyone, uh, Cygax here with another one-shot video. This time we're going to do, be doing Ninve. Um, Ninve is an NPC on Whispering Islet. Um, this is located, if you look in your map, to the east of Punica. So we're right here on Whispering Islet. Um, it is one of the harder NPCs to get the virtues to one-shot. Actually, if you look at Ninve, um, I am at the point where I am currently locked. So I need 310 Charisma, 310 Courage, as well as 360 Wisdom to continue this. Now, one might say, why would you one-shot Ninve? Well, so if you hit Alt N, you can look and see what Ninve gives you. Well, for starters, it gives you 1,000 gold and 340k uh, silver, which is good in some potions, and then some, some more silver here. The silver and stuff, not too, like, overall, it gives you a lot. Um, but the big thing is the Giant's Heart. It gives you a giant's heart, which you need if you're getting the skill point potion, the Ninve card, and the token for the island. Uh, additionally, you're able to craft a potion that you wouldn't be able to normally craft. Um, so if you hit Stronghold level 40, you will be able to craft elemental, splendid elemental HP potions. Um, you can normally craft these, and this allows you to just craft the splendid ones, which... If you're not very good or, you know, you just want a little assurance, um, it's always good to have, you can carry two more of these. Uh, they do sell pretty well in the auction house. They've been selling pretty fast currently at this price. This price is a little high if you are buying all the mats on the auction house. So um, first, let's get to the one shot. So I got her to friendly one, right? So this is where the lock starts. And if we just pull up a quick chart, we can look at friendly one. We are at 4,251. Now, 4,251, that brings us to 28 rapport items, and they all have to be the same. You can't mix and match. You have to do the 28. Now, I don't know if you can go higher than this, but I believe that you can go all the way almost to friendly to the capping of friendly one before doing this. So if you have some other ones of different types, you know, that's a reasonable way of doing things. But I personally stopped at 4,251 and I am going to do it from here. So I need 28 of these. So now if we go back to my inventory, um, I can look and I can see what I have. Well, I have eight chain war chronicles. So one thing I've been doing is I've been buying these every week. So I need 20 of these. So I click on Chain Ward Chronicles. I'm going to open up these so I can get 28 total. And there we go. So then I'm just going to pull this up. Uh, I'm going to double check this, double check my list. Okay, so I have 28 of these, 28. Okay, now we're good. So I'm just going to click on Ninve. I'm going to select all 28 of the ones that I brought. And uh, we're going to hope that we hit it. So uh, click deliver. And boom. Now we are trusted rate rank with Ninve, and we can collect our giant's heart. Now, again, if you skipped ahead and you didn't watch my intro, um, why do this? Well, for one, this was one of my personal last giant's hearts. I know there's a few more that I need. So I need two more rapport NPCs and then the quest one. And then as well as being able to craft the splendid HP potions. That's a big one. This also gives you one of the island souls, which is really important. Um, but that's about it. I mean, uh, we're, we're going to go over. I'll go over real quick where I got these from. So um, legendary rapport selection boxes. Every week, you are able to buy a few of these. So if you click here, you can buy your weekly rapport pack. Uh, there are 120 blue crystals each. Um, as you can see, I can't buy any because I've already purchased my five. But you can buy five of these per week. Right now, 120 blue crystals. This is, this is actually quite a bit of gold. So uh, if you go over here and you can exchange it, right? You know, if you need... Um, 120 blue crystals. That's that's going to be quite a lot of gold. Uh, you'll have to be buying several of these. So it, probably about six, six to get what you want, which would give you almost enough to buy all five. So like seven. 
So you're looking at about 2.4k gold. But this is one of the more worthwhile things you get back half your investment for doing so. So another way of getting these is um, there are NPCs, the random NPCs. If uh, you look at into Saintbot or any of those, they spawn in the world. And that's why I had eight of the War Chronicles before I even started. Um, you can see there's from the city merchants. They spawn in East Lutera from Malone and Bert, I believe. Uh, there might be a third one. Let me just take a look. It's, it's just Malone and Burt. Oh, Morris. Malone, Burt, and Morris in East Lutera. Those are the ones specifically for that one. It's an RNG chance whether the vendor has it. And last but not least, if you go to any of the major cities, all the major cities have one, um, you're looking for this vendor, the Rapport Exchange, and you spend these Provenance Stones there. And that gives you a chance at a legendary item. And then you get, I think uh, this is the one that, um, one of these, I think it's the Oriha Viewing Stone, is the one that you get out of the one out of Punica. Um, each city's is different, however, so just choose one city and buy a bunch of boxes from them. Anyway, um, if this video you found helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I do stream nightly on Twitch. Um, I am going to be going on a short hiatus for the next two weeks, so you might not see me for the next two weeks, but then after that I will be streaming nightly again. Uh, anyway, uh, my name is Cygex, thank you very much for watching, twitch.tv slash Cygex, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.